Alrighty, so today we're going to be making a picture using Photoshop. So you're going to go, you want to go to File, New, and um, you're going to get the width and the height. Alright. Now, to start off, you want to do a quick sketch. So you want to go to the Brush Tool, which is right here. Um, if you want more brush types, you can go to you can go to Window, Brush. Now this is going to get you all kinds of different types of brush. It's also going to give you um, lots of uh, tip shapes that you want to use. The ones up here are just basic brush. Basic brush is really good. So start off nice and easy with basic. So just draw a nice little circle here. You're going to keep it simple. Your eraser is right there. I'm going to erase all of that. And your sketch can be messy. It certainly doesn't. You need to look pretty. As long as you get a good scope of where everything is. Say you mess up. You want to undo it. You just go to edit, step backward, and that'll undo it. There's also a step forward button in case you want to undo the undo you did. There's a good little sketch there. So there's your little quick drawing. Now this is just a sketch. So what we want to do is we want to unlock the layer. Because the background layer will always be locked for whatever reason. Um, and you want to decrease the opacity, which is right here um, on um, in this layer section here. Um, so the more opacity you decrease, the thinner the layer is going to get. So that'll be good. Now I want to look, add a layer over that. So what I want to do is I want to go to Layer, go to New, go to Layer. <laughs> Uh, layer 1 will do. Alright, so this is where we can start getting a little more complicated. Or at least a little more nice. Because we got our, our general sketch down. So, let's see here. A little hand here will uh, let you drag the picture up or down. And the little spyglass there will let you. Um, get closer or further away to the image. It all depends on your personal preferences. So again for this I'm just going to use the basic brush. Um, let's see, that's a little thick so I just want to get that smaller and you can go right up to the top here. See it's at 38. Let's do it 24. Okay, that's good. That's a lot better. You can also increase and decrease the size of the eraser if you can with all the brushes. It's okay if you overshoot everything because you can just erase it. It's good. It's easier if you make sweeping gestures instead of long calculated ones. The faster you go, the more smooth the lines will be. One thing I really like about using a program is that when you erase, you actually erase the whole thing. It's not like when you just erase the excess. Better to have excess than it is to not have enough. And you can step backwards about as many times as you want, really. Granted, it'll all depend on how much memory your computer has. And then, you want to just get rid of the sketch underneath. There's this little eye right here, and that's going to be, if you click it off, then you won't be able to see that. So, this is the little sketch we got so far. Alright, now to color it, you want to go back to layer, new layer. Now what you want to do is you want to take this layer and you can drag it, and you want to drag it beneath layer 1. And I'll show you why in a second. So we go back to brush, here we go. and you can color over everything and it's not going to affect the sketch on top. Well, if I want, I can just change everything. And it's better to get the color over the outside, erase the remain. And a nice thing to do is, I'm going to add another layer here.
contrast between the colors is nice. If you want to do anything to any layer, you gotta click on that layer. See, as my eraser is going over the lines I drew, it's not erasing because it's only going to affect the layer that I painted on with the orange. Which is really nice, actually. Because then you don't have to worry about anything. Alright, welcome back. So, I already erased the outline, and now it's time to shade. Now, when you want to shade something, what you're going to do is there's this little lock here. Just click that, and now the layer is locked. And what that does is, no matter what you do, what you paint is not going to go past that first layer. And again, all you have to do is just... So, since he's kind of an orangish color, I'm going to go for dark, dark red. That's a good color to go for. And I'm going to lower the opacity, which means I'm going to make it thinner. So, see, that way you get more of, not as thick. You can see through it a little bit better. You don't have to worry about going outside the lines, which is really nice. And again, I'm going to try and keep the shading pretty simple. I don't want to make it too complicated. So I'm just going to kind of do some slight shading. Alright, let's kind of lighten everything up just a little bit. I need some highlights. I need a piece. So let's get a yellow. The nice thing is you can experiment. You can just want to do it if you don't like it. Alright, looks good. Alright, now for the details. So, again, we're going to add a new layer. Alright, and just like we did with the orange layer, we're going to just click on this. Oh, we're just going to lock it. And then... The opacity. So, so increase the size. See the eyes. I'm also going to add a new layer. The more layers, the better. Right. It's a little easier to make lighter colors darker. And I'm going to make take that, make it much darker shade. Go above. I'm gonna add another layer. And this time I'm gonna go above. All right. And if you want to change the op opacity of the layer itself, right here, the little opacity thing, you can lighter or dimmer. Let's see. Let's get the ears quick. Let's see. Let's make it. More of my my more complicated pictures. I use up to about 50 layers. So the fact that I'm using seven is actually pretty tiny for me. I'm gonna lock this layer and lock it in So again, we lock the layer. Now, let's see. I'm gonna go a little bit more orangey this time. Now I'm just doing all this with the basic brush. Now, um, if you want like different textures or different um, brushes or anything, then um, you just go to the Windows brush menu and you can choose a different brush to use. Alright, now for the background, we'll go back to the gray that we did, and we can do whatever we want to the background because it won't affect any of the foreground whatsoever. Let's see, what would be a good color? Maybe a green, kind of offset the green kitty. The eyes, the green eyes, and okay. See, and I think that it's a little bit big, so 
what you can do is you can use the crop feature stuff. And that looks pretty good. Alright, now the last part is the signature. Alright, in the save you go to file, save as, and I'm just gonna save it's in the spot you want. Now, this is a LZW right now, but if you want um, to put it online, you want to make it a JPEG. And that'll compress all the layers together. And it's saved. And that's how you make a picture.